I'm Mrs. Newberry, and I'm here to read a first chapter Friday selection. Let's see. Annie Barrow's Iggy is the hero of everything. I don't know what kind of adventure Iggy gets into, but he's obviously the hero. Let's find out what happens. First chapter, food for thought. There are plenty of people in this world who eat squid. Nobody's making them eat it. They like it. Squid cooked in squid ink, they say. Can I have seconds? Mmm. There are some people who think cheese is a dessert. They go to a restaurant and instead of cake or pie or ice cream sundae, they say, oh, I'll have the cheese. Yum. What do we learn from this? That some people are bonkers. No, we learn that different people have different opinions. They have different points of view. From my point of view, eating cheese when you could have cake is weird. But from the point of view of the cheese eater, that is one tasty hunk of cheese. Here's another way to say it. The cheese eater and I have different interpretations of the word dessert. And guess what? Neither of us is wrong. I can say to the cheese eater, eat your cheese in peace and happiness, you cheese eater. More cake for me. And the cheese eater can say, wait, no, he can't. His mouth is full. Gross. Are you wondering if this whole book is going to be about cheese? It isn't. I think I'm done talking about cheese. The important thing is this. People can have different points of view about a thing like dessert or about an event like a kid jumping off a roof. Two people can look at a kid jumping off a roof. One will say, that's bad. And one will say, wow, cool. And it is possible that both of them are right. They have different interpretations of the same event. Obviously, there are some things that can't have different interpretations, like a cat. A creature either is a cat or isn't a cat. You can't look at a crocodile and say, in my opinion, that is a cat. Well, you can, but you'd be annoying and also possibly eaten. Well, facts stay the same while words and ideas and events are open to interpretation. Got that? You sure? Good, because several of the things Iggy Frangi does in this book are apparently open to interpretation. Some of you may have already met Iggy, but if you haven't, I'll tell you a few facts about him. Iggy's nine. He's in fourth grade. He's the main character of this book, which means he does most of the important things in it. There are people like, for example, Iggy's mom and dad and Rudy Hecky and Rudy Hecky's mom and dad and Iggy's sister Maribel who think that the things Iggy does are bad, even very bad and irresponsible and careless and unsafe and, you know, bad. But some people, like, for example, Iggy and me, think that Iggy is brave and resourceful and caring and generous. In fact, we think Iggy is a hero. Clearly, people have different opinions about Iggy and the things he does. That is, they're right. Iggy and I will not stand in their way. We would simply like to point out that if Iggy does one or two or three things and then other people hurt themselves, that does not mean Iggy caused their problems. In our opinion, they caused their own problems. But we're not going to argue about that. No, we're not. We will. We are willing to say to Iggy's mom and dad and Rudy Heggy, Hecky and Rudy Hecky's mom and dad and Iggy's sister Maribel, have you have your opinion in peace and happiness, even if you are completely wrong. We are also willing to say that you can decide for yourself about Iggy after you read about what he does. You are free to interpret Iggy's actions any old way you want, right or wrong. 
but one thing is not open to interpretation, and that is how it began. It began with a fact, and the fact is this. Two days after Halloween, the Hecky's house was robbed. Chapter two. Wait, oh wait, I am not gonna read chapter two, or three or four. That's up to you. If you are interested in finding out, Iggy is the hero of everything and everything that happens in this book, you will come to the library and check your copy out. All right, we'll have them right on the counter for you. So I hope you do. Annie Barrows, Iggy is the hero of everything, will be waiting for you here at the library. Thank you very much.